In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Welcome back. It's been a couple days since we worked in the camper and got a nice little break and breather and got to think things through. And we've got a beautiful streak of weather coming our way. It's going to be a high of like 72, 73, somewhere up around there. A little cool, but sunny. It's pollen season, so pollen's all over the place. But I need to get up on the roof and I need to start doing a little bit of work up there, particularly as it relates to finishing up the bedroom. Why would I have to go on the roof to finish up the bedroom? Well, we've got a vent fan that we want to replace in the bedroom. And we want to put our new fantastic fan blows in or out. Uh, multi-speed really awesome fan so I want to install that and that way we can have the bedroom locked up from the inside um, to the out and I'm also going to so I'm going to move our bedroom fan now which isn't a terrible fan but it's not great and it's better than the bathroom vent fan we've got three vent fans in our uh, RV the one in the front in the living room is pretty nice the one in the bedrooms okay and the one in the bathroom is a really cheap piece of crap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the living room one where it is. We're gonna put the new vent fan in the bedroom, move the old bedroom one into the bathroom. And while I'm doing that up on the roof, I'm gonna make sure that I got all the seals really good. Um, so two out of the three vents are gonna have brand new seals on the roof. Anyway, lots of lots of lots of stuff going on. But today is all about being outside, enjoying the beautiful weather. The dogs don't have the joy of getting on the roof. All right, I'm back downstairs inside the camper. Um, wanted to point out a couple things about being up top. Um, that the good news was they sealed the heck out of the, the event cover before um, the fan. And so it was goopy. It was hard to deal with getting it off. But that was great um, because it was sealed up really, really well. So when I pulled the screws out, there was no real rust or anything other than just age. So that, that's a good sign. And there's no water damage on the inside to show that there was any kind of leaking going on up there. So now that we're on the inside, um, I can look up and see. There's the old one. I've got to disconnect the wires down here and that way I can pull the whole thing out. I guess I could disconnect them up there, but I had to unbundle them down here. So that's why I came back in. So while I was on the roof, I went ahead and did all of my um, seals, got rid of all the seals for the bathroom cover, the two fans that we're replacing. Um, I got them all, I got the fans out and I got the bathroom cover right here. And something to note is there's butyl tape everywhere. Butyl tape is our friend, so I'm not upset about it. 
This is the cover we're replacing the skylight. It's dark. Looks like it was actually spray painted black. We're going to be getting rid of it. And this is going to go back down. This is the part that my head will hit in the shower. And so right now, I got a bunch of holes in the roof and I'm not terribly worried. Welcome Lindsay back into the mix. Where are you, baby? I'm on the roof and I'm terrified. <laughs> Lindsay does not like being on the roof. No, not at all. This is scaring me too. What do you say we don't put a fan back and we just make a, we no. put a ladder down there and then we can come hang out on the roof? No. No thanks. She doesn't like that idea, but she wanted to have a bus with a rooftop hangout area. <laughs> yeah. It's been a work, work, work day. I'm gonna put the camera down so Lindsay can finish up her thing. I'm gonna get this last vent going that I'm gonna um, put another hole in the, in the roof. And then we'll go ahead and show you how we're gonna zip it all together. It's really simple, should be simple, as simple as just lining uh, each vent with, uh, or each cover with butyl tape and then popping screws down in the holes and then putting some lap sealing around the side. Should be that simple. In reality, we'll see what happens. Well, it's another beautiful day. So I'm back up here on the roof. Um, everything I worked on yesterday looks pretty good. We need another day or so for the sealant to dry. And then I'll come behind with the Eternabond tape and put that down and I'll show you how that works. Um, but what that'll do is that'll create a more permanent waterproof seal. Anytime you're putting holes on the roof, it is a scary proposition. Just like putting holes in the bottom of a sailboat, you don't wanna do that. Uh, unless you know what you're doing. So with this, we think we know what we're doing. And um, what I'm doing up here today is actually going to be checking the seals on all the other um, appliances that we're not going to replace. So we have one fan in the living room. I'm gonna go ahead and look around the seals there, probably scrape away all the old stuff and put new lap sealant down. Same story, let it dry for a day or two and then I'll come back with the Eternabon. I'm also gonna take up the, uh, the air conditioned cover and see if I can't get to where the air condition is actually mounted. There's a plate, a little aluminum plate that goes into um, the frame of the hole. And uh, so I wanna make sure I can get that nice and sealed as well. Of course, I'll come back and tape that later once we get that sealed. So the idea is I'm gonna take advantage of these beautiful days while the pollen is falling. It's at least the leaves have given us kind of a break. So I can't seal the roof yet, but I can do all the other work that'll get me ready so we can come up and hopefully knock the ceiling out in a, I mean a half day, maybe a little bit more. I have re, uh, reapplied the Dicor self-leveling um, roof sealant on the last vent fan. So all of my appliances now on the roof are sealed. Gonna wait for them to dry and then I'm gonna come up here. Um, so I'll give it maybe two days. I'll come up here with the Eternabond tape and I'm gonna tape the edges. We've got the big wide four inch tape, it's expensive but it's going to do the trick in terms of taking away any concern whatsoever that we'll have any kind of leak around these vents. It'll also mean it'll make it hard to take the vents off if we ever need to for any reason. So that's why we decided to go ahead and put the new ones where we needed them and get rid of the old ones. 
uh, in terms of the refrigerator vent, the skylight, and the um, the one vent in the back and the bedroom bathroom area. Um, I also ordered some more self-leveling goop, whatever you want to call it, sealant, because while I'm up here, there's some edges I want to get um, where I know there's potential for water damage eventually. Even though we are going to seal the roof, we got to wait for the pollen to stop falling, and it's literally falling on me right now. But I'm going to apply lap sealant along here too. And along here as well. So these lights we found with our truck camper in particular, they're prone to having water leak through them, the front lights. So if you do have a water leak, um, chances are in the front section, it's probably from one of those lights. Doesn't have to be anything major. Doesn't even have to be a seam. Um, even though I'm gonna cover the seams, uh, a lot of times it's the light fixtures that just get a little tiny bit of water in there and it opens the pathway for more water to get in. So that was what happened with our truck camper and the water damage we had there in our cab over. Uh, so we've learned from that. We're gonna make sure we seal everything really, really well. And so that'll be another day on the roof. But now it's time to sign off. I'm gonna hand the torch to Lindsay to take over. She's gonna be working tonight on some things inside the camper. So who knows where this episode will cut off, but it's cutting off for me right now.